So guys, that's a quick update. The raffle's going by really well. Um, everything is really running extremely smooth and I couldn't ask for it to be any better than this. Um, I haven't checked on how many people have actually applied for it, but uh, everything's going really good. So um, I'm, I'm hopefully gonna get this video up tonight. So if you guys haven't already, you guys are gonna have 24 hours to win the raffle, win the Brooklyn Nets hat that I made. And uh, you know, guys, just good luck. Appreciate it. I used to have one of these. I used to try to put nail polish on them so that way they get hard so I can cut people with them. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? When I was two years old, I stuck a pencil up this bully's nose. Yo, you could have killed them, dog. I wasn't thinking about that. Huh? Uh, that doesn't sound right when you ask for powder. <laughs> this is always my powder. My oh, makeup. <laughs> Not fish! Me powder! <laughs> How many ounces are they, like six ounces worth? That's probably like four. <laughs> that's what I mean, that's, yeah, that's definitely like a good four ounces. Of beer, right? so how much was it? Like eight, eighteen dollars? Nah, it was like three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Grab your lemon some, bro. Put it on top. Alright. Yeah, okay. I don't know what a lamington is, but we got one. Alright, look. We have the Norwegian Epcot Hall right here. Check this out. Let me focus on this shit real quick. What is this? Lamb chops? Lamb chops. Yo, look, look at this prime lamb chop right here. How many ounces do you think this is? Like one? <laughs> <laughs> if that. About two ounces of lamb chop, including the fucking bone. They got two of them. He got his beer. And my lamington. I hate coconut, but... I'm gonna eat it because I'm, so, I'm starving. So, all right, try it, bro. Try it. Mm. It's good. Oh, I was thinking you wanted a lamb chop. Yes, it is. I'm gonna try the lamington. First try. One of my friends, her stepdad, he works over here. He said, she said, back on time, my nigga. <laughs> try, to, try to get my nigga a dab. He said, oh. <laughs> That's how we do it, bro. Ah, uh, you dumb gay. Good luck, bro. I'm gonna get my girls, gonna bro. gonna be good. Or I'm gonna be in jail. Nah, don't do that. Yo, text me the address to, to where I'm going. Over here? Yeah. All right, you ready? Okay.
a dope ass bomber jacket. Sachi, you like it? Do you like it? It's not cold enough yet. I like these biker jeans. I like them. Write it down for you if you don't mind. This is the hat that I ended up getting from Lids. Boom, this is it. This is has to be customized and made, and I'll basically show you what it looks like. Okay, this is the finished product here. Obviously, you can tell it went, went from a stock baseball cap to now where I put on the python skin on it and all that stuff. And um, shout out to the person who bought it. I think they're from New York. Well, I guess hence the logo. But this is a really popular team anyway. But uh, came with the strap in the back. And it, all my hats come complete with the headquarters pin right there. That's just like a nice little touch and a token of my appreciation for you guys. Uh, those aren't really, really cheap for, to produce. But for you guys, they're all worth it. So thank you. If you, if you bought this hat and you're watching this, man, I definitely appreciate it. <sighs> Between me and you, I don't want to hold any secrets behind. I'm a very transpar transparent person by nature. There has been something bothering me for the past couple of days that has been really affecting my mood, and um, I just kind of want to get it out there. Um, it kind of has to tie into the last video that you saw where I was kind of just like describing why or just a fact that I couldn't post a certain type of picture on a raffle, right? Now, I'm a firm believer that I started this from nothing and I don't like limitations or people that are outside trying to box me in someplace, right? So I'm going to be straight up with you. I'm gonna to try to not to mention any names, but rather give you the scenario that was presented to me and how I handled the situation. I'm not sure if I was right or wrong because I'm torn between the two options. But what ended up happening was uh, a friend of mine, I was gonna call him a friend, sent me some hats, right? And they and that was this was a while back. So I finally see one of the hats and I said, you know what, I wanna make I want to make this hat and give it away to someone, you know, and the only thing you had to do to win this hat was to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to YouTube. That was all you had to do. It goes to a, a, um, a contest company that filters out um, any bots and stuff like that and just has everyone in a list. So that way, whenever I'm ready to, um... sorry, let me just put this on silent. Whenever I'm ready to end, a, to end a drawing, all I gotta do is click a button and a person pops up and wins. So it was really supposed to be that simple. As you guys know, when you're preparing to do something, it's, it's a lot of preparation up until that point where you're actually doing it. So, you know, I have to, I'm doing everything alone. So I had to take the picture, I had to edit it in Photoshop and I had to, I had to uh, make sure it was perfect for Instagram because this was, that's, that's where my biggest audience is to be honest is Instagram. And uh, I wanted to tell you guys, you know, my people here on YouTube uh, about the raffle. And I wanted to, um, oh, I also did it on Snapchat. So th those are three social media platforms that I had to get covered so that way I can get the most amount of people joining in. So within 10 minutes of putting the picture up, I got a phone call from a friend that says, hey, look, that hat, you can't use that hat because you're going to ruin a relationship or relationship with someone else. And to be honest, 
that's where the problem lied at. Um, to kind of back up and give you guys a full story, this person that the, the, this person that uh, we met through business, but that that kind of developed into like a you know somewhat of a friendship. And I've been giving him a certain amount of my products to give to certain celebrities because he just has that pull, right? And it just seems like every single person that we send something out to, they receive it, but and just in return, all we wanted was a simple picture. That's it. And so we're just not getting that. And I, I, I got to the point where I was really kind of pissed off because these people were saying, we can't take a picture because we are, um, we are friends or we are associated with someone else. That someone else is my competitor. I don't want to mention names, but he is a bigger competitor. And that's me being completely honest. And um, it got to the point where there's certain people around here in Orlando that know me personally, come to my house, ask me for a favor, and in return, all I ask is for a picture. You know, I'm, again, I'm not gonna mention any names, but when I call that person and say, hey, dude, like, I don't wanna rush you. Whenever you get a chance, I'm just kind of reminding you, if you could throw me a picture real quick, that'll be awesome. I, I do my part, I, I make the product, I give it to them, and they simply say, unfortunately, I can't fulfill my end of what I said because of the people that I'm dealing with who are associated with that competitor that I'm talking about. Now, that competitor, he, he really solidified himself in this industry for a certain type of product. And if I can ever meet him, I will shake his hand because he, you know, his product inspired me, right? Um, to be honest, I started my product without knowing of him or that this product existed. It just happened that, it just so happened that by coincidence, my idea just happened to have been an idea that someone had already developed, right? There's nothing wrong with that, right? So it just got me to the point where I was really angry because we were sending out these hats to people that we told ahead of time that we were gonna send them something and then when they finally receive it, say, I'm sorry, dude, I can't do it. My friend is trying to urge me to understand that this is how this type of industry works. They're all in the same camp. They're all in the same group. And when I say all, I mean in the hip hop music industry. This anger is turning, is allowing me to pump out more creative things. I, I, I can do one of two things. I can get angry and I can just get pissed off at the world and blame everyone for the reason why people aren't gravitating towards my ideas or my products. Or I can just use that and say, you know what? One day, I'm going to walk into an office with this camera, with you guys, with me. I'm going to look Jay-Z in his eyes, shake his hands, and he will not understand the journey that it took me to get to where I am talking to him. That, that to me, would encompass all of my hard work into that one meeting. And you're probably thinking, well, why Jay-Z? Why, why whatever? Because... Jay-Z was one of the person that we were supposed to get one of my products, uh, my products into his hands. That fell through. But just the fact that I've always been a big fan of his and, you know, he just reached that, that legendary status that I would be honored just to be in the same room as him. But I'm going to take it as far as to make a, make a decree to myself and tell you guys that one day when I finally do meet him, he's going to know my name and you guys are going to be there with me. I swear. I promise on that. Now, I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen. But I just know that it will happen. I just know that it will. And I'm not speaking boastfully. I'm putting it into the universe. And I'm going to work hard so that way the universe can manifest what's in my mind. Shout out to Fusi too. I'm ready. I'm ready. I feel like these people are not necessarily ignoring me, but they're not giving me a chance. And I'm going to make I'm gonna make room for myself in this industry, and I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna give it everything I have. Um, you know, I'm you know, at first balancing YouTube and work was, was was a job. Now I'm combining the two. YouTube is my motivation to keep grinding, to keep innovating, to keep thinking of more ideas, to bring you guys along with me. I love to do this, and you know, even though my channel is not big right now. I have to dream like it is. I'm doing that. Guys, thank you. If you if you're just if you just happen to stumble upon this video, please subscribe. 
Um, I'm, I'm coming out with a lot of cool stuff that I, I definitely want to show you guys. Like this video if you can. And, um, you know, just rock with me. You know, I, I'm going to make it happen. I want to take you out with me. Have a good night.